I'm David Wilkins. I'm the Director of Undergraduate Teaching and Undergraduate Studies for Mathematics, and I'm here to tell you about the mathematics modules in the science course. Uh, so, first of all, we don't aim to make you a mathematician. The, the aim is to give, make you a better scientist. What you ought to be deciding today is which of the various possibilities of mathematics uh, modules you should be taking in the junior freshman year. So my talk will concentrate on uh, what you should be thinking about in making your module choice for the coming year. And the first question, do you need to take any mathematics at all? And there are, as already mentioned, for degrees uh, in science that do not require mathematics in the first year. And they are these four, environmental science, geography, geology, and plant sciences. Uh, if you want to do a degree in any other of the sciences, whether they're physical sciences or chemis chemistry or biological or life sciences, you need to take some amount of mathematics. And you need to essentially select from one of these three possibilities. There are two uh, mathematics modules. There's this one, MA1S11, which the course director labeled Mathematics 1, and the MA1S12, which is the Mathematics 2. So I'm using the actual module codes on this slide, but the one that begins with MA and with an S in it and ends with a 1, that's Mathematics 1, which is the main mathematics course in the first term, and then the other one, MA1S12, that's the main mathematics module in the second term. So you can do both of those for 20 credits, or uh, you can simply take the mathematics module in the first term, which is MA1S11, or you can take ma one m O1, which is the mathematics, uh, mathematical methods module. Uh, but if you are intending to graduate in physics or in physics and astrophysics, uh, you can only do that if you take the full mathematics in your first uh, year. So calculus basic skills of differentiation and integration and things that require these basic process use of infinite series and such like. And the aim is to consolidate what you already studied at Leaving Certificate with sort of basic calculus, uh, uh, techniques of differentiation, techniques of integration. There will be an integration technique known as integration by parts, which you, uh, as far as I know, you might probably didn't see at Leaving Certificate. So there will be new, so there will be some new calculus techniques and consolidation of existing techniques. Then linear algebra, uh, this is concerned with vectors and matrices. Matrices, just the square or rectangular arrays of numbers that you can uh, add and multiply together according to the appropriate rules to solve problems where you're solving, typically solving simultaneous linear equations. Some uh, computer algebra, how to use the computer to actually do your things like the calculus to actually do the differentiation and the integration for you, uh, rather than having to do it the way people had to do it in the 19th century. Uh, a section on make uh, use of spreadsheets, and a discussion of number systems. Uh, some computers, I mean, computers generally uh, we use decimal systems because we tend to have 10 digits, uh, whereas computers, as you know, a lot of it is in binary, but also you tend to record numbers in hexadecimal, which is dealing with things to base 16. So there will be uh, material on that. So that is a survey of the content of the mathematics module in the first term. 
and in the second term there will be more calculus, more linear algebra, and an introduction to probability theory. So if you are taking the full mathematics, the 20 credits over the two terms, that will be what you would see. And just to emphasize the point that if you're going on to physics or onto physics and astrophysics, you have to take those particular modules and you have to take the appropriate modules also in the second year of your course that mathematics and physics, you, you, can't, you can't go on in physics without taking the full amount of mathematics. And then the mathematical methods. So uh, if you're not doing uh, both mathematics modules, uh, but you need to take some mathematics, Essentially, you have to choose between the MA 1S11 and the MA 1M01, and essentially the choice probably you'll be guided by how comfortable you are with mathematics. Each of them will supply the 10 credits, and if you look down the list of module prerequisites for things other than physics and astrophysics, they will say either MA 1S11 or MA1M01, and with the mathematical methods, it covers many of the same topics, the uh, calculus, the linear algebra, the probability, but uh, it is uh, taught at a more elementary level, so essentially it's giving you the basic minimum of mathematical skills that you will need uh, if you're going to cope with uh, the, those, the majority of the uh, uh, degree subjects uh, that require some competence in mathematics. So for those of you not doing physics and astrophysics, the question is, should I go for the, uh, essentially the higher module, which is the MA1S11, or do I, want the module, the mathematical methods module, the MA1M01, which just gives you the basic skills that you will need, but at an elementary level. So I think I'll finish with that. <laughs>